at least two people were killed and five others were injured in a possible terror attack. A Ford Explorer filled with gas canisters smashed into a Mitsubishi Outlander around 12.50 a.m. on January 1, as concert attendees left the Kodak Center in Rochester, New York. The incident is being investigated as a possible terror attack, by the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force. The two occupants of the Explorer were killed. The driver of the Outlander survived. One of the five surviving victims suffered life-threatening injuries. The blast occurred as attendees were leaving a concert by the rock band Mo. Last night's events outside the Kodak Center have left us all in profound shock and sadness, the group said in a statement afterward. On a night that was meant for celebration and togetherness, we are faced instead with a tragedy that defies understanding. Our hearts go out to the family and friends of those who lost their lives, and our thoughts are with those who were injured. Over the past 48 hours, the Rochester Police Department Major Crimes Unit, our Joint Terrorism Task Force members, and the Arson Task Force, which you remember I said yesterday, the Arson Task Force is police detectives, fire investigators, and ATF is also a normal part of the arson task force. They've been conducting an extensive investigation into the tragedy that occurred on New Year's Eve outside the Kodak Theater on Westridge Road. The following is a synopsis of the information we have learned thus far. Again, it must be noted, we are still gathering information and all of this is preliminary. All evidence point to the suspect as 35-year-old Michael Avery from the Syracuse, New York area. The suspect passed away last night. He has not been scientifically identified, but we are in the process of confirming his identity. We have been in contact with his family since yesterday. Avery traveled to Rochester, New York in his personal vehicle on or about December 27th and checked in at the Wood Spring Suites in the town of Greece. On December 29th, at about 2.45 p.m., Avery rented the Ford Expedition from a car rental agency at the Rochester Airport. On December 30th, between 9 a.m. until about 6 p.m., Avery made at least a half dozen purchases of gasoline and gas containers from different locations throughout the Monroe County and Ontario County areas. Thus far, our information has shown he was alone when making these purchases. On January 1st, about 12.52 a.m., Avery was operating the rented Ford Expedition eastbound on Westridge Road. At about this time, two Rochester police officers assigned to the concert were on traffic posts and stopping traffic to allow for pedestrians to cross. At this time, Avery sped up, crossed into the oncoming lane of traffic, and appears to have intentionally been driving towards the pedestrian crossing. At about the same time, a rideshare vehicle containing two passengers in the back seat was pulling out of the theater parking lot and was struck by Avery's expedition. <clears throat> this created the chain of events that followed, leading to the death of the two rear seat passengers of the rideshare vehicle and the injuries of at least nine pedestrians. That number has changed since yesterday as more people have come forward to report their injuries. Yesterday, a search warrant was executed on the hotel room rented by Michael Avery. There was no suicide note recovered during the search of the hotel room. An additional search warrant was executed on Avery's personal vehicle, which was recovered at the airport parking garage. Investigators are still combing through evidence recovered from his vehicle, but nothing thus far has been recovered that provides any additional insight into why this occurred. Although the motive behind the crime remains unknown, the conversations we've had with his family so far leads us to believe that Avery may have been suffering from possible undiagnosed mental health issues. At this time, we've not been able to identify that there was anyone else involved in the crime or that it was part of a larger plot. Additionally, we have not uncovered any information leading us to believe that the actions of Michael Avery on New Year's Eve 
were motivated by any form of political or social biases. It must be noted this is an ongoing investigation and additional information may be developed. We're gonna share his photo today <clears throat> and ask that anyone with additional information about this tragedy or about the suspect's motivation, please contact the RPD Major Crimes Unit at 428-7157. There's also an email and this will be on the written release when we put it out, but it's majorcrimes at cityofrochester.gov. <clears throat> 